So in the last video, we made sure that we could spawn our monsters at the right position. And if you looked at the first video in this tutorial uh, where I demonstrated everything, you would see that the monsters would spawn um, from the portal. They would be small and then they would scale up. So it looks like they're coming out, uh, out of the portal. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. So to make it easier for us to see what happened, what, what's happening, then I'm simply going to take my currency text here and uh, disable it so that it's easier for me to see the portal when I play the game because if the currency text is here, then it's going to block the portal. So right now I am going to scale it down just to uh, scale it down to remove it. It's just so we can see what's happening here at the portal because we can click this button and then we spawn a monster here. But we would like that monster to start from a small scale and then scale up to uh, a regular size. And we can do that by going to our scripts folder and then we go to our monster script here. Because inside the monster script, we will have to add a new function and that function should run inside a coroutine. And this coroutine will be executed when we spawn our monsters or when we start spawning a monster so that it starts from a small scale to a large scale. And the function will also work or will also be used when we need to scale the monster down because at some point it reaches, it reaches uh, the red portal if we didn't kill it. And when it reaches that portal, it should be scaled down again. So we need to make a public I enumerator and we can call it scale and vector three from and vector three to. So these are the parameters, right? We need to tell it what scale it needs to move from. So this is the minimum scale and this is the maximum scale. But when we go the other way, uh, when we hit the red portal, we need to swap it around. So the maximum scale is the from and the minimum scale is two. So it scales down again. But we'll get to that later when we start using the A star algorithm for moving the monsters. First of all, we need to keep track of the progress. So we need to make a float called progress and it's equal to zero. And as long as the progress isn't um, larger than one, well, then we need to st uh, scale and the progress will be equal to one when we're done transferring uh, the scale. We say while our progress is less or equal to one. So as long as less or equal to one, then we are going to say transform dot local scale dot equals vector three dot lerp, uh, not lift, dot lerp. And we need to lerp it from vector A, which is from, and we need to lerp it to, um, yeah, two, two, of course. And then we need um, to describe or to define um, the progress. So we can write progress here. So why are we adding the progress out here? So it's lerping from this scale here, which for example is 0 0.1 to um, a scale called one, for example. The progress here will be equal to um, zero when it starts and it will be equal to one when it's done lerping from and over here. And if it's midway through uh, the lerp, it is going to be 0 0.5, right? So we're using this progress here, this one up here, to keep track of how far we are with the lerp. So this is simply why we put that here, because we know when it is one, then we're done lerping. And lerp is for, um, what's it called, for changing a value over time, basically. And then we say progress plus equal time dot delta time. There we go. So we are adding time all the time to, to progress here. So then we say yield return null. We don't need to return something. And then we say transform that local scale. Scale is equal to two. Okay. So when we are done scaling here, we might stop um, a little before we are at, at the actual two scale, maybe we are 0 0.01 off or something. So just to make sure that we get the actual scale when we're done scaling it up, we just set it equal to the two scale, just, just to um, set the value exactly as we want it. Uh, so it isn't a little off on some of the monsters. So that is basically what we need to write. Now we need to use this function. So up here in the spawn, we can basically say start coroutine because we need to call it as a coroutine, so it does this over time, as long as uh, as this value run, while loop runs. 
and then we say scale and what scale do we need to scale it from let's see I've written down that the scale I want to scale it from is new vector 3 and it should be 0 0.1 f and 0 0.1 f and you can always these values here you can modify them if it doesn't fit your needs or your scales or your sprites you can always modify these to be larger or uh, smaller and new vector 3 1.1 there we go. So now it calls this function here that runs as long as progress isn't um, larger than one. And we transform the local scale with vector 3.lerp where we use from and to and the progress that we increase down here. And at some point progress is one, then we are done scaling. And then we transform the local scale to two just to make sure we have the exact value here. Yes. So let's uh, try this. Um, can't remember if I saved. Let's just go back and make sure I have a habit of forgetting that. So if we save and we play now, and I click the next wave, then my monster will spawn as a small one and get larger. And maybe it's hard to see when there's other monsters, but it kind of looks like it comes out of the portal, as you can see here. So now we have a working scale function, and that's all we are going to do in this video. So it's going to be a very short one. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and uh, remember to like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Also remember that Inscope Studios is a community found page so all your support is very important to me. You can support me in different ways. You can go to the Patreon page where you can support me and get all the projects that I've created or you can support me by getting one of my projects as a standalone product. So thank you very much for watching.